Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. I am Yavi Prajesh again from Suryabala Ford Coimbatore today, and I am here with the newly launched BS6 compliant Ford Figo Titanium hatchback. So this is the titanium variant, and it's not the titanium blue variant, and hence it may lack a lot of features, and it may even lack certain few features when you compare with the BS4 titanium variant. First of all, on the exterior, as you can see that this car looks exactly same as before. There is no sort of changes in uh, sheet metal or even uh, fiber, even when you compare with the BS4 variant. It looks exactly same as before. You get the very same halogen bulb headlamps as before. This titanium variant no longer is available with front fog lamps and hence you get a blank panel over there. Uh, however, you get the very same chrome uh, detailed front grille. Uh, similar to the Aspire compact sedan. This here is the Aspire compact sedan on its titanium plus variant. Uh, this is the titanium plus variant, so it gets a fog lamp, but the Figo no longer gets a titanium plus variant. It, instead, it gets a titanium blue variant, and only the blue variant is available with a front fog lamp. Uh, apart from that, the car looks exactly the same from the front. However, move on towards the side and you can notice the different design alloy wheels. These are new 15-inch alloy wheels uh, as against to the old BS4 uh, uh, spec alloy wheels. So these uh, wheels look a little bit better and different when you compare with that and uh, kind of add to the looks of the Figo hatchback. The size is on the wheel for you. There is the size. These are 15 inch alloy wheels and really uh, complement this car's driving dynamics as well. Apart from that, on the sides, there is no so sort of a difference when it comes to overall design and features. Move on towards the rear further, and you can see that even the rear looks exactly the same except for lack of certain few features. The titanium variant of the Ford Figo no longer gets a rear wash wipe function, and neither it does get a rear windshield defogger. Those features are available only on the top spec titanium blue variant. Uh, so, yeah, this is not the top spec uh, variant anymore. You have to compromise on certain features. Similarly, you get four parking sensors, all right, as standard from the entry level variant. However, you do not get reverse parking camera on the titanium variant. Only the titanium blue variant gets the reverse parking camera as well. So, that's all about the exteriors. Uh, no sort of other changes on the exteriors whether to indicate this is a BS4 or, or a BS6 Ford Figo you just have to look for that alloy wheel design so let's just get inside this car to check out uh, what are the differences in it uh, when it comes to the features and overall comfort yes guys I'm right now inside the Ford Figo BS6 titanium variant and as you can see this is how the interior and this is how the dashboard looks Obvious changes are clearly evident. You no longer get a touchscreen system on the titanium variant. A capacitive touchscreen system is available only on the titanium blue variant. Uh, this variant no longer gets a touchscreen. Instead, it gets a monochromatic uh, display, which I'll show you in a bit. Before that, let me just start with the steering wheel. The steering wheel, however, remains exactly the same as before. You get glossy black uh, design elements with the steering mounted buttons uh, on the left side of the steering boss. You get a uh, you get the exact same headlamp stock you get the exact same wiper stock as well even the push bus, push button start button is uh, exactly the same and as is the instrument cluster this is the instrument cluster shared with the freestyle the aspire uh, as well so it is nothing new it's exactly the same uh, as is the controller for the headlamps you get this rotary knob to control uh, to turn on the headlamps at least and along with that you also get the headlamp leveler uh, stock which pops out from that you also get a front fog lamp sorry this is the rear fog lamp button only the top spec titanium blue gets a front fog lamp fog lamp this here is the button for the rear fog lamp and on the right side you can see this is the button for the trunk open oh sorry i just popped open the trunk so apart from that you can see largely the interior layout remains exactly the same now coming to the infotainment system this here is the major change when it comes to the titanium variant you no longer get a touchscreen system let me just turn on the ignition it of this car and it is clearly a few years uh, behind when it comes to uh, the cool factor and features it is not as great as uh, even say 
certain cars which have uh, better infotainment displays say for example the Tata Tiago it gets a lot better audio quality and a little bit better in terms of operability you get a whole plethora of buttons over here which can be confusing for uh, some people but it gets everything right that is at least very good you get even voice command functions I don't know how good or bad that works uh, but you can use voice commands on this infotainment system when you have connected uh, Bluetooth to this so that is really very good it also gets audio playback and Bluetooth audio of course and uh, well sorts of every other thing which is available traffic announcements I don't know what is that uh, <laughs> I, I am not sure how to use this traffic announcement and all it's kind of uh, weird <laughs> but it's totally fine you however get a call cut and call button buttons on either side of this uh, radio preset and, and this array of radio presets so that is okay you get a fast forward play and pause button you get a volume controller on the left side whereas this here is the tuning controller so as you can see it is an okay system it is not the best it could have been a little bit better this decision has been taken due to cost restraints uh, on the figo though surprisingly the uh, aspire and uh, the freestyle get a touchscreen system from the titanium variant itself so this is done only for the figo now uh, however you get one surprising element uh, which is this sort of a phone holder kind of uh, docking mechanism you can dock your phone over there depending on its size you can adjust this uh, lids position you can hold your phone in place over there and you also get a charging socket over there there is a USB socket underneath this lid uh, so as to uh, connect or charge your phone that is really very thoughtful and helpful it is a unique thing but it could have been a little bit better given this uh, given that this car is launched in 2020 probably okay yeah so that's all about the infotainment system and lower down you can see that this variant also no longer gets an automatic climate control automatic climate control is available only on the titanium blue again these are manual controls you get five uh, four fan speeds ow, which are quite very powerful if you turn it all the way uh, above and uh, you get internal recirculation button you get an ac on button you also get a directional positioning button over there and this here is the very same tray seen on the freestyle and the figo so as to place your phone or your car key this is how the key for the ford figo looks like it is exactly similar to the freestyle and uh, aspire titanium cars which is really chunky and very handy it looks very very modern let me just leave the key over there below that you can see a 12 volt charging socket on the Aspire and the Freestyle, usually the USB and AUX ports uh, will be located over here, but not in this car. I am exactly not sure where the USB and AUX ports are located. Okay, yeah, the USB port is obviously over there, but I don't think there is any sort of AUX jack uh, port or anything. So basically, you have to utilize uh, utilize this uh, AUX port, sorry, the USB port only. So coming lower down, you can see the different uh, transmission lever design it is not as great as before uh, they have uh, deleted a lot of design details so as uh, the metal finish the chrome finish and the glossy black finish which uh, were actually present on this variant it is no longer available it's instead a plain transmission lever and as you can see it's a five speed manual transmission so both the diesel and the petrol versions of the figo hatchback are available with a five speed manual transmission only there is no automatic available for at least the time being Coming lower down, you can see the very same number of uh, bottle holders, cup holders and uh, cubby holes as on the Freestyle and the Aspire compact sedan. You also can see the very same handbrake lever as well. So that is good. The steering wheel is, of course, adjustable for tilt, not telescopic, which is totally fine. Uh, moving on towards the driver door, the design looks exactly same as uh, exactly same on the Figo and sorry on the freestyle and the aspire just like on the figo you get express down function for the driver window and express up as well probably only on the titanium and the titanium blue variants and uh, however a good thing is that you get electronic adjustment for the orvms on this titanium variant itself the titanium blue however offers an auto fold sorry uh, electronic folding function for the orvms as well which is not present on this variant so that is all all the other storage spaces which include a cooled glove box 
those large uh, bottle holders in the door bins and uh, well basically everything else remains exactly the same you also get a vanity mirror for the passenger side sun visor nothing for the driver though it gets only a ticket holder so that is totally fine uh, however a good thing is that this day night switch for the irvm is available on this titanium variant and even a few variants lower down so that is a really good thing the top spec titanium blue variant however gets a whole lot of features uh, in addition to this variant say for example an electronic electrochromic auto dimming irvm uh, along with that you also get automatic headlamps automatic wipers and automatic uh, climate control with a touchscreen system so i think that the titanium blue is seriously well equipped and uh, is the best value for money when it comes to features and safety features as well talking about safety features the figo is available with dual airbags and abs as standard with uh, ebd as well however if you uh, opt for the top spec titanium blue variant you also get curtain airbags which makes the number of airbags to total up to 6 Uh, you get curtain airbags on the top spec variant which extend all the way from the A pillar to the C pillar and you also get the thorax airbags on the sides of the front seats just like on the Aspire and the Freestyle so that was all about the uh, interior the dashboard of the BS6 Ford Figo they have removed a certain number of features which is clearly very obvious uh, in the interest of cost but still it does not make it a bad car it gets all the essentials you need it's just that if you want a little bit more uh, fancy features you should opt for the top spec titanium blue variant so let me just get into the back seat right now to check out whether if there are any sort of changes in the back seat as well yes folks i'm right now in the back seat of the newly launched bs6 ford figo titanium and this is how the dashboard of the titanium variant looks like it may be an all black cabin but it is still decently good in terms of uh, looks and overall interior quality talking about interior quality every plastic every panel in this car is black it is not color but still the quality is impressively good they are built to last at least that's what i can feel by touching them it's really good talking about rear seats the space has always been decent and adequately good uh, in the figo as well as the freestyle and the aspire so that is the similar case over here the overall space the edge point the comfort is decent it's really very good with under thigh support also is decently good it's not bad at all it is uh, adequately very good very supportive even on long drives because the seat cushioning is not too soft it is uh, right at the spot you want it is neither too hard neither too soft which is really very helpful the rear seats get adjustable rear headrests for two passengers uh, but not for the third passenger and of course you also do not get any sort of center armrest even on the aspire and the freestyle so that's all to say about the rear seats there is only one bottle holder provided for the rear seat passengers there is nothing on the doors of the rear seats and uh, yeah that means the rear seat passengers have to adjust with this only bottle holder over there so that's all about the rear seats let me just get into the boot and later under the bonnet of the BS6 Ford Figo so yes folks i am right now going to pop open the boot of the Ford Figo Titanium using the key if you press this button twice on the key the boot is popped open automatically so it does not uh, spring out like on the Aspire you have to do the rest it just opens it for you and this is how the boot looks like this is how the boot looks like even on the freestyle because there is no sort of changes when it comes to uh, the interior dimension and space management it is a nice very very square uh, luggage space you can utilize this up to the max and uh, yeah it's very convenient as well though you have to lift your heavy luggage all the way above uh, due to this high sill but it's totally fine you can fold the rear seats uh, almost flat as well by pressing these button on the edges and there it goes it's not totally flat though you can load a certain amount of luggage on the seats as well when they are folded so it's totally fine you get the space saver spare wheel under the floor which is actually a space saver this is a 14 inch steel spare wheel uh, on this titanium variant and it gets an uh, it gets an 80 km per hour speed limit you can use this spare wheel for a temporary uh, time 
until you get your 15 inch uh, tires repaired so that's all about that let me just pop open the bonnet of the ford figo which is the key point of this review because this is a bs6 vehicle so this ford figo essentially is a petrol engine equipped figo titanium and there there it is this here is the very same 1.2 liter three cylinder dragon series petrol engine which produces uh, around 96 ps of power and a good amount of uh, torque 119 newton meters to be precise through a five speed manual transmission it is bs6 compliant and it has always been the choice for uh, uh, the enthusiasts when it comes to driving changes have been made under the engine well inside the engine to be precise by uh, adapting the catalytic converter to be bs6 compliant and uh, certain other changes have also been made uh, to improve its refinement and all which i am unable to show you right now so that's all about the engine it is a really good engine and another point to be noted is that on this petrol uh, car you do not get any sort of under bonnet cladding only the diesel engine equipped the variants of the Figo, Aspire and Freestyle get an under bonnet black carpeting. So yeah, let me just shut this. So that was all about the newly launched BS6 compliant Ford Figo hatchback. I think it is still a good value for money uh, compact hatchback. It is really nice to drive according to my previous experiences. and. Uh, it's even more eco-friendly right now so the prices are on the screen for you to decide do let me know what do you think about the ford figo meanwhile this is viprajesh signing off see you on another video thank you for watching bye bye